guys, welcome back. Stephanie Chavez here for DH Gate, and today I have just some information that you want to know when you open an after sale dispute. There's already a video about how to open an after sale dispute, but there's also this kind of important information, things that you have to take into account when you open an after sale dispute. So, first things first, DH Gate will not handle any disputes that have already been. Uh, dispute given a solution to so if you got if you open a dispute and then you got into an agreement or dhgate intervened and dhgate decided what to do and maybe you're not and then you decide to open another dispute you cannot you cannot you can just open a dispute one time for items that the problem is the quality the DHgate will just use one solution. They will be sent back to the seller for repair. Unless you agree with the seller before DHgate intervenes that you will return it and you, then you will get a refund. Unless you get into the, that agreement, then DHgate will decide that you have to send it back and the seller will have to repair it and then send it back to you. If that is the case, if the HK decides that you have to send it back for repair, then you, the buyer, uh, has to pay for the shipment to send it to, for repair, but the seller is the one who has to pay for the shipment to get it back to you when it is repaired. Both seller and buyer have to choose a shipping method that provides a tracking code to track the orders. <laughs> DHgate has the whole right to close a dispute when the buyer did not provide evidence within the first uh, three to five days and it actually will open a dispute in, in the evidence section. It will tell you when is the time limit for you to upload the evidence or when you did not reply to the messages when asked for. So yes, that's basically this important information that you have to take into account. It's always very important to be um, looking at your messages just in case there is a message from this uh, dispute just always be alert always reply on time always give all the information needed because if you time because if you let time pass then uh maybe the dispute will be closed and uh you will lose the case and there is no way to open a new dispute again so just be very diligent with uh, all the messages and all the process. Don't just let don't let time pass. I know maybe you're busy, but this is important too. So that's basically it. If you guys have any other questions, please let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.